Welcome to History Review. Today we're going to talk about the Great Depression. There are five causes of the Great Depression. The first cause is overproduction. Farmers were producing too many goods with not enough buyers. This leads to the second cause of the Great Depression, the credit crisis. Farmers didn't have, and other people, didn't have enough cash to buy things they needed at home so they would buy on credit. Think of it like your parents' credit card. They buy on credit when they don't have enough cash and then they have to pay the money off. Well, this leads to the third cause of the Great Depression, bank failure. Banks started to fail because people could not pay back their credit. They weren't earning enough money, especially farmers. This leads to the fourth cause, Black Friday, which is when the stock market crashed in 1929. The fifth cause of the Great Depression is the Dust Bowl. Farmers were over farming the land, making it dry and useless, combined with a drought where it didn't rain for a long, long time, made it the land just barren and people couldn't farm on it. And then it started, the wind started to blow and created these huge dust clouds where people had to flee their homes and they couldn't, there was you know, inches thick of dust on their houses. They couldn't farm anymore. Many people left and um, they went to California. These people were called Okies. So let's review the five causes of the Great Depression. One, overproduction. Two, the credit crisis. Three, bank failure. Four, the stock market crash. And five, the Dust Bowl. So you guys might be wondering, who was president during the Great Depression? Well, the answer is Herbert Hoover. You could think of Hoover as a Hoover vacuum because he sucks as president. Hoover relied on volunteers to set up soup kitchens and help the poor and the needy. He believed in very small government. He didn't believe in public welfare. People hated Hoover so much that the homeless, they set up shanty towns and named them after Hoover, Hoovervilles. By far, Hoover's biggest mistake as president was how he handled the Bonus Army. Now, the Bonus Army refers to a group of World War I veterans, mostly poor and unemployed, who demanded that they receive a bonus, or some cash, promised to them by the government ahead of time. See, they were promised this money a few years in advance, but they felt like they were veterans. They almost, you know, some of them gave their lives, some of them were injured. They deserved that money early. They needed it. They marched on Washington and they camped out there, demanding their bonus early to help them deal with the effects of the Depression. Instead of helping them, President Hoover sent in Douglas MacArthur, who will become pretty famous in World War II. He sent troops and tanks, and they sprayed the crowd with tear gas and burnt down their camp. Hoover lost the election to FDR the next year. FDR had different ideas about how to help the country during the Great Depression. Unlike Hoover, he believed the government was responsible for providing economic and social care for the needy. He helped in many, many ways. His big picture plan was called the New Deal, and it included many different programs to help the United States. But the first thing he did were called fireside chats, and this is where he got on the radio and he talked to the American people. He told them everything was going to be okay. He told them what he was going to do to make the situation better. Of course, FDR created a lot of other programs, too. Sometimes we history teachers like to call this alphabet soup. There was the CCC, the TVA, the WPA, all these letters. Let's talk about two really important ones. The first one is the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. This provided manual labor jobs, you know, working with your hands, for young men. The Works Progress Administration was the largest New Deal agency, and it also provided jobs across the United States for men to build roads and buildings and other infrastructure. Another important thing FDR did was the Social Security Act, which we still have around today. It's important to remember, though, that African Americans, women, and unskilled workers had the hardest time finding jobs 
because of racism and sexism. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about um, people, men going back to work, that employers really like to hire white men first. FDR got into a little bit of trouble in, during his first term in office. This trouble is referred to as the Supreme Court packing scandal. It involved President Roosevelt and the constitutionality of some New Deal programs. The Supreme Court thought that some of his programs violated the Constitution. How, you might ask? Well, the Supreme Court thought that the New Deal gave the government and the president too much power. This is a violation of checks and balances. So they ruled some of his programs unconstitutional, meaning they couldn't be used. So FDR waited until he was re-elected, second term as president. And then he decided to put forward a plan to add six more judges to the Supreme Court, taking them from nine to 15. Why did FDR want to do this? Well, it's pretty simple. FDR wanted to put more justices into the Supreme Court. He wanted to pack them with Supreme Court justices that supported his plans in the court. That way, all of his New Deal programs would pass. This didn't work out too well. The public was outraged by FDR's efforts to make the president more powerful and the government more powerful. And eventually, he withdrew his plan. FDR's plan wasn't popular with everybody. There were a few critics of the New Deal. There's two important ones you guys should know. The first is Huey Long. He didn't like the New Deal. He wanted to instead adopt a plan where the rich are taxed very highly in order to support the tax base and fund a lot of um, public works programs. Francis Townsend is the second guy you should know. What he wanted to do was give a monthly payment to people over 60 in order to free up the job market. So people over 60 would retire, but they'd have some supplemental income to help them out. That way, new jobs would be open to younger people. There were a couple more, you know, problems people had with, with the New Deal too. One is they thought that it, it gave the president just too much power. These New Deal programs expanded the role of the government a lot in people's lives. Remember all those public works projects, the CCC, the W. PA, the TVA, those are all big government programs. The second problem people had with the New Deal is that they worried about our national debt. They worried about how much the United States would owe because these government plans were very, very expensive to institute. Thanks for joining me today for our review of the Great Depression. But there's one more thing. I want you guys to remember that the depression didn't just happen in the United States. Europe also experienced a pretty bad depression on, all on its own, especially in Germany. Now, the Germans were looking for a very strong leader to, to bring Germany back from the dead. Do you guys have any ideas who that might be? Keep in mind, World War II is coming pretty fast. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Miss A's Review.